And thanks for watching our News at 6. I'm Mike Tang. And I'm Dana Winkleplack. Mental Health America announced plans to build additional housing for homeless in the Wabash Valley. The organization already has three other local facilities and could possibly construct a new building with 50 units. Abigail Degler joins us now with the details. Abigail, what did you find out? Well, when I went there to one of their facilities today, um, I learned that the new facility will be located right next to Liberty Village and near Elm and Home Avenue. Wilkie says they are just in the planning phase at the moment, but once the ball gets rolling, they hope to start construction by the end of this year or early 2021. Our people have lots of barriers to housing and they don't have the income to pay to pay rents. And so it's a difference of staying homeless or being housed. Myra Wilkie, Executive Director for Mental Health America of West Central Indiana, says their facilities offer homes to those with chronic homelessness and help integrate them back into communities. She says the units provide more than a shelter. They provide a home and security for someone who may not have had that for years. Now once they get housed, people can, you know, re kind of regain their life back. Wilkie says the project will cost roughly $6 million. She says they will apply for state funding to help cover the project later this year. It's hard to get a job. You can't do that unless you have a place to bathe every day and make food. You can't care for yourself properly. So it's very important for people to be able to move out of that situation of homelessness and poverty. Wilkie says consistency and security allow people to focus not only on their health, but their futures. They can work on their spirituality. They can work on being employment ready. And those are all things that will come after they're housed because without housing, they can't do all those other things to enrich their lives. Wilkie says this is phase two of the initial construction of Liberty Village and that the new facility will be on the east side of the existing facility. You know, those look pretty nice, I have to say, the ones that have already been built. Tell me a little bit about the state funding that they're going to apply for. So they will be uh, ready for the application in November, and then if they get approved, that's when construction, the construction phase will start late December, possibly early January 2021. Okay. And then once that starts, it's about nine to 10 months to finish the facility. All right, thanks so much there, Abigail.